In this lecture, uh, we are going to discuss this uh, electromagnetic spectrum. So, in this, uh, what is uh, this spectrum? A spectrum is actually arrangement of the various type of electromagnetic radiations in order of their increasing or decreasing wavelength or frequency. So, it is a types of electromagnetic radiation so you have to keep in mind and we arranged uh, this wavelength and frequency increasing or decreasing order so here i have drawn this uh, uh, one wavelength and one is frequency so in terms of wavelength you can see is uh, this wavelength is uh, decreasing so from radio waves microwaves infrared rays visual ultraviolet x rays uh, gamma rays cosmic rays so this radiation is decreasing order so decreasing order means wavelength here wavelength you can see the wavelength of the radio waves it is 1 to 10 power 4 so here it is too much high this is in meter 10,000 meter means it can be your 10 kilometer so here uh, wave, uh, wavelength of the radio waves are 100 meter 1000 meter so 1 kilometer this is the big big uh, very big wavelength okay but if you go uh, towards the right hand side it is microwaves are so it is decreasing here you can see cosmic is very less wavelength 10 power minus 14 is a very less wavelength so it is in decreasing order similarly uh, frequency in other way frequency is increasing so if the wavelength is decreasing means frequency increasing because the uh, speed is constant the speed of electromagnetic radiation is constant that is near to uh, light speeds that we have seen uh, previous lectures uh, so here the speed of the uh, cosmic frequency is how much 10 power 22 hertz this is in hertz but if you see the radio waves the speed is very less that is the 10 power 8 hertz 6 hertz this is the frequency of the radio waves so these are the main waves you have to keep remember visible radiation comes in between 10 power uh, 7 to 10 power 4 here so in this range visible rays comes here so this you have to keep remember and this is a, a range so here range is there uh, we can write visible rays this is your red orange yellow b uh, green uh, blue indigo violet so we can learn in this way weave your so through the, this weave your the range we can understand and uh, this is the high frequency and this frequency is decreasing so through through this diagram we can say frequency decreases but wavelength increases so this is the way of studying the electromagnetic spectrum so you have to keep remember this spectrum uh, sources of electromagnetic radiation so which are the sources uh, through which we can get uh, electromagnetic radiation so here i have written uh, sources so you should know how these uh, waves has been produced so uh, actually these are the part of the you will study more in a physics topic so you, you, this you can study in physics that is uh, how this instrument is used to produce these waves so we'll discuss here only uh, theoretical part that is the source and wavelength so radio waves uh, wavelength is uh, normally greater than one meter so one meter you can understand from one meter whatever the wavelength is there that is called radio waves it is big waves generally pro it is produced from the ac of a uh, high frequencies alternative current of high frequencies and uh, this is used for mapping extraterrestrial radio waves so it is extraterrestrial means it is in the uh, space so we are using this uh, waves in measuring the sending the radio waves in the sky and in the sky that we are measuring uh, this extraterrestrial activities whatever they like uh, we can uh, planets uh, like stars so these waves are used because they can travel very big big distance in one cycle second microwaves microwaves wavelength is one millimeter to one meter range and generated by the a special generator like klystron tube so klystron is klystron tube is the tube or uh, these tubes the waves are used in telephone circuits so in telephone circuits microwaves are used infrared radiation so 0.7 micrometer to 1 millimeter so it is very small the waves uh, wavelength become very small but frequency becomes very high it is emitted by incandescent uh, object like bulb so from bulb filament of bulb or atoms and molecules when they change their rotational or vibrational motion then this radiation is basically produced uh, visual radiations 400 to 700 nanometers so emitted from a stars arc lamp and hot filament of tungsten so here uh, we are measuring this one visual radiations next is your ultraviolet radiation so here again we can see wavelength is decreased 1 to 400 nanometer and it is present in sun rays arc lamps containing mercury vapor geno and hydrogen gas so these are the sources which are producing ultraviolet radiations 
एक्सरेज एक्सरेज अगेन वन टू हंड्रेड एंगस्ट्रोम वी कैट पॉइंट जीरो वन टू वन नैनोमीटर और वन टू हंड्रेड एंगस्ट्रोम सो दिस इज द रेंज ऑफ द वेव लेंथ एक्सरेज सो दिस इज प्रोड्यूस बाई प्लेसिंग ए मेटल टारगेट इन द पाथ ऑफ द फास्ट मूविंग स्ट्रीम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन दिस थिंग इन द कैथोड रे डिस्चार्ज टू वेन कैथोड रे इज हीटिंग द मेटल टारगेट द मेटल टारगेट इज हैवी मेटम हैवी मेटल देन वी कैन गेट द Uh, good wavelength of x-rays so this is uh, what to in, in this way it is produced uh, gamma ray it is a uh, less than uh, 10 nanometer okay uh, it is produced from nuclei of radioactive atom and through the process of radioactive disintegration it is x ray gamma rays are produced so it is more penetrating electromagnetic uh, radiation okay it is more penetrating so this is a uh, uh, Very yes. X is also penetrating, but the gamma is more highly more. So this is very harmful. X is also harmful. This is also harmful. Ultraviolet rays are also harmful. Cosmic rays very less uh, wavelength. Originated from the outer space, but due to their extraordinary penetration, penetrating power, they can enter the Earth's surface after piercing through a large thickness of atmosphere. so uh, in after uh, in atmosphere it is very large thickness is there even that atmosphere is uh, pierced by the this cosmic rays and it enters the earth's surface so it is uh, normally we can see uh, this cosmic rays in uh, poles that is a uh, north poles we can see here so there there is more chance of penetrating of cosmic rays into the earth's atmosphere so this is the, we have seen the ultraviolet x rays and the this one uh, gamma rays all these are very harmful rays cosmic rays if you get the cosmic rays human being can die gamma rays also human being can die x rays also if you take large quantity human being can die so this ray rays are if you take in large quantity death is sure okay so you should be careful in getting all these radiations already we know that ultraviolet rays is stopped by the ozone layer which is present in the ozone sphere so we should be very careful in using all these type of radiation so uh, normally uh, question there asks arrange the this one uh, radiations in form of increasing wavelength decreasing wavelength order this question is mostly asked source already we discussed so keep these all these things in mind uh, by repeated revision and practice this can be easily learned or understood